Hi folks, welcome to Tweaker's Tech. Um, I appreciate I normally talk about gadgets and technology and apps, um, but I've been dabbling with trainers a little bit more and you know, you could make the argument that trainers are a form of technology. Um, today we're gonna to be talking about wearing trainers in your 30s and 40s. Now for many years, uh, I've, I've got these Chuck Taylors in a uh, brown and white. I would traditionally wear black and white ones for many years. And you know, this kind of support, it's just unheard of once you reach your 30s. Your feet need a particular type of support. I, I, I wear these on my date night with my wife and uh, you know, I can barely wear them for a few hours, but they go better with most outfits. They're more neutral, which is why I still own a pair uh, and they still look great. Um, but uh, you know they're not daily shoes for me so I kind of have to look at different alternatives and um, someone like myself is stuck in the 80s and 90s and um, while I still like to wear black and white leather I originally uh, discovered these flight legacies they're actually quite affordable fairly cheap um, you know quite a minimal design as you can see uh, the air flight logo I think these were made famous by Scotty Pippin uh, probably about 89 90 around the same time that the Flight 89s came out. Um, you know, what I like about them, like I said, they're quite minimal, not too distracting, they're quite subtle. Um, but upon wearing them after a few times, you can tell it's made with a really cheap synthetic leather. Now, you know, I, I do prefer fake leather if given the choice, but there are different degrees of quality. And unfortunately, uh, these ones don't have the best quality. They do look good. And they go with most of my outfits. They're, you know, they seem to be a good daily shoe, especially when the weather's pretty poorly and it's raining. Uh, these would be my go-to. But I, I found an alternative pair that do look similar. I mentioned before about the Flight 89s. These are the recently released uh, Flight 89s. I've got them in a few different colours. Now, I was a bit reluctant to get these at first because someone who's in their mid-40s uh, maybe can't pull off this kind of design. You know that's quite a lot of branding there um, and this particular detail here I was a bit reluctant and when you compare these shoes side by side you can see there's some subtle differences and some similarities but why I prefer the design of this one these are actually a lot more comfortable uh, the padding the thickness you know the actual uh, arch support you can see there's a bit of a curve there so it's nicer to walk in I can wear these significantly longer than I can with these ones. While I do prefer the legacies and the way they look, I've actually started wearing these now, uh, despite my wife's uh, advice, she told me not to get them. <laughs> I got them anyway, and they're cheap. Uh, these seem to be the least favorite out of all the colorways, which is why they're selling them for about 60 pounds at the moment on JD Sports. So I'm wearing these pretty much most days, but I'm still a bit conscious of the uh, the branding on the tongue you kind of have to wear them with a the tongue sticking out none of my jeans can actually fit around the tongue so i've kind of you know i've just kind of accepted you've got to have the tongue sticking out and i think with flight 89s that's how you should wear them really so those are those pair i'm gonna to have to pretty much sell these uh legacies which is a shame i've got the flight 89s in a soft gray now i actually prefer this design the the branding Although it's the same, it's actually a lot more subtle with the colour. Um, these are my shoes that I would wear. Maybe not on a wet day, um, maybe on a cold day and it's sunny but there's no rain. But, you know, they're an occasional pair of shoe really. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at the moment. These are the kind of shoes I would normally wear on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah, I've got a few other Jordans and Flight 89s. Um, these are my Jordan 11s in bread. Obviously they're very popular. I got this as a birthday present. Um, I try to wear these at weekends, actually. They go with a lot of my outfits. You know, in uh, 2024, they're actually not a very good basketball shoe. As you can imagine, basketball technology has advanced over the years. I tried playing in these. And um, <laughs> when you rock up wearing Jordan 11s, people expect you to play pretty well and uh, couldn't handle the pressure. But, you know, they look great. Uh, they're a great signature shoe, but I wouldn't play basketball in them. But now, these are pretty much my weekend shoe for the winter. Um, what else do we have? These are also an occasional shoe. I've done a video on these before. Uh, Jordan 5 uh, Retro Bel Air, the alternative colour. 
Um, you know, I bought these initially for a, a 90s themed party. I'll rock these in the summer with maybe some jean shorts and a basketball vest. You know, I'm quite comfortable wearing these light blue jeans. You know, I, I really like the retro feel of these shoes and you know, they're comfortable as well, but they're not something I wear that often. My most recent shoe that I bought, I had these intended for basketball, but they're actually um, quite a casual looking shoe. So it's a good all rounder. It does have the cheap leather uh, that I've got on a few of my shoes. I've got another pair of Air Max Auras, similar leather, but they're actually quite lightweight. Uh, sorry, what are these called? The Flights. Ah, uh, Stay Loyal Free. I think that's what they're called. These are available in a lot of different colorways, but I wanted to get the Royal Blue. One feature I like about these is the tongue. It wraps around really nicely and it feels so comfortable and light. I've been, I've been rocking these as my alternative day-to-day -day shoe, but also play basketball in. And I tested them out for basketball um, just last week, actually. I did pretty well in them. Good support, good grip. Yes, there are better shoes out there. I always prefer like a mid-size shoe for basketball. I've never really dabbled with the low, uh, the low cut ones. Uh, but I might consider that. I've always wanted a pair of Kobe's, but they're quite expensive. But for now, these are a good all-rounder. I could play ball in these indoor and out, and they're nice to wear with a pair of jeans as well. I think I have done a video on the uh, these Max Auras. They look a bit dirty. It's one feature I don't like about this is this material gets dirty so quickly. Um, but in the summer, I do like wearing them. I've got a little lace lock feature that I added on there. These, you know, these are really out there. They do stick out like a sore thumb, but they're cool. They're fun shoes to wear. Uh, not a day-to-day -day shoe, but in the summer, I'll probably wear them a bit more often. But, you know, I feel like I've got my day-to-day -day shoe covered with the Flight 89s. I'm going to have to sell the Flight Legacies. Um, maybe if someone could bring out a Chuck Taylor that's like a hybrid of a Nike Flight shoe, but still had that Chuck Taylor feeling. That would be the perfect shoe. I'm not sure if there's anything out there, but if anyone has got any suggestions, please let me know. Uh, thanks for tuning into Tweefers Tech. This is a short one. Just wanted to look at some shoes today. Uh, stay tuned to the next episode. Thank you.